Hey, this is Adam from Figmatic, and today I'm going to be showing you how to export your slide designs from Figma to uh, Apple Keynote or an Apple Keynote file that you'll be able to open on your computer and present uh, a real presentation uh, outside of Figma based on your designs. So to do that, we need to install a plugin called Pitch Deck. And if you haven't already done that, you can go to the top left corner of uh, Figma, click on the little Figma icon. And if you go to plugins or community, and if you search uh, just in the search bar at the top, search for the term pitch deck. So that's P-I-T-C-H-D-E-C-K. And you'll see a result come up called pitch deck presentation studio. And uh, if you haven't already got it installed, you can go over to the right hand side and you'll see a button that says install. Uh, so once you do that, it'll look like mine with a little checkbox and it'll stay in, say installed on it. Once it does look like that, you'll be able to go back to your design and uh, we're ready to go. So I've just jumped back into my Figma design. Uh, this is just a slide deck that I designed in Figma uh, based on Dieter Ram's 10 principles for good design. Uh, so it's just 11 slides. And what I want to do today is take these slides uh, outside of Figma uh, into Apple Keynote and uh, make this into a real presentation that I can uh, use. Uh, so to do that, we need to run the plugin we just installed by right-clicking anywhere, going to plugins, and then clicking on Pitch Deck Presentation Studio. Um, and once you do that, it's gonna fire up the plugin that we just installed. And it's going to look through all of your frames uh, on the left-hand side here, and it's gonna treat each of those frames as an individual slide. Uh, in your slide deck. So make sure you're running this in a file that uh, just contains the slides or the frames that you want in your deck. Uh, if you do have other frames in there, it's gonna treat them uh, as slides. Okay, so it's gone through and it's looked at all of our frames. Uh, and you can see here that we've got a list of 11 frames from our deck uh, design, and they all look as you'd expect them to look. Uh, the one thing to note is that the ordering is exactly reversed from the ordering that we see over here in the left-hand side in Figma. So we can see at the bottom of this list, we've got intro and then gradually working its way up from principle one to 10. Uh, but in Figma, in the Figma Pitch Deck Presentation Studio plugin, uh, you can see intro is actually coming first and then it goes from one to 10 uh, after that. And the reason it does that is because uh, typically when you're designing something like a deck or a slide deck uh, in Figma, uh, usually you'll create a slide and you'll be happy with that layout and you might want to copy paste it. And when you copy paste it, uh, Figma will paste it next to the slide that you already had, which is great. But it also adds the new layer on top of any of the old layers that you already had. Um, so it effectively keeps layering uh, upwards instead of in, in the reverse. So Pitch Deck kind of accounts for this by default and assumes that you've done your design that way and will order it uh, in reverse to correct the order from start to finish. Um, but having said that, if, if you do uh, need to reorder the slides or if you've done it a different way, you can very easily reorder them just by hovering on any of these drag icons in the slide uh, panel on the left here in the plugin. And if you click and drag, uh, you can simply just reorder those frames or those slides. Uh, so you can see here we've just moved number one down to number four, I can move that back. Uh, you can move any of these around in any order. And these are completely disconnected from your Figma design order. So if you do want to reorder these um, slides just for your presentation export, you can feel free to do that and it won't mess around with your actual layer order in your original design, that'll all be left uh, alone but the plugin will, will look at this order as, uh, as the source of truth. Okay, so now that we've got our slides, um, as I said, you've got a preview here with, with all of the content of each of them. Uh, the thing that you wanna have a look at underneath that preview is this little section called speaker notes. So speaker notes is just a little area with a text box or a text area where you can actually write notes per slide uh, which can be used when you're actually giving your presentation. And these won't be shown to the audience at all. These are just used for uh, your own use. If you're presenting on a second screen or you're using um, 
keynote to present and you want to use the slides uh, speaker notes feature this will automatically be put into the speaker notes um, that you'll be able to see once you export it into uh, from Figma to Keynote. Uh, the other thing that you've probably noticed is that we have some animations on all of our layers here. And these are being controlled by this panel over here. Um, however, it is worth noting that because we're exporting from Figma to Keynote uh, in this tutorial, uh, those animations won't be won't be seen in the in the keynote presentation. Uh, so if we open up our if we open up our export formats here, you can see that we've got two groups. We've got an animated group uh, which just has the pitch deck URL export format, and we've got a static group which has things like PDF, PowerPoint, and Keynote. So the animations will only be applied to this first format, which is the pitch deck URL. So that is the default format uh, for creating presentations. If you upload a presentation to that, it'll give you a URL where you can actually present this deck uh, and you'll get all the animations, you'll get the slide uh, notes, uh, you'll get a remote control uh, to control the slides from your phone if you want to. There's all these different features it offers. Um, so if you do want to know how that works, there's a separate tutorial on the Figmatic YouTube channel. Uh, you can check that out. It goes for about half an hour and it will, it'll give you a deep dive and a full demo of how that works and what you can do with it. Um, but for today, because we're gonna be exporting from Figma to Keynote, uh, just be mindful that any animations you do apply here uh, will not get carried across. And the reason for that is uh, these are very specific web-based animations that don't have any relationship to, uh, to Keynote. So Keynote has um, very different animation styles that, uh, that don't map to these animations, so they're, they're just static um, when you export it. But you can apply animations once the deck is in Keynote if you'd like to, and I can show you how to do that in a second after we export uh, this design uh, from Figma into Keynote. So let's go ahead and do that now. I'm, I'm happy with the ordering, I'm happy with the design. Uh, I've got all my speaker notes set. So to export this to, uh, to Keynote, uh, from Figma, all we need to do is click on this little uh, drop down up here. So this is our export format selection. If you go down to the bottom of the list where it says Keynote file, click on that. And you'll see here that it's just changed the button to export Keynote. So all we need to do is click on that button now and I'll click on it. And what this is doing is it's generating uh, an actual Keynote uh, a file that can be opened in Keynote uh, natively outside of Figma. So it's taking all your designs uh, and turning them into slides. Okay, so it's telling us our presentation keynote is ready. Uh, it's letting us save it. By default, it just uses the, uh, the document title from your Figma file. So I'm just gonna leave that as is and click save to my desktop. So it's telling me that, uh, yes, I can save the, the keynote file to our computer and open it in Apple Keynote or I can share it via email or Slack or anything else I prefer. Um, so in this case, I am gonna open it on my, on my computer. Uh, so to do this, you can just double click on the file that you just exported, uh, or you could open up Keynote and open it manually if you wanted to, just by going to File, Open, uh, and then double clicking on the file we just exported. Okay, so now I'm in Apple Keynote um, after double clicking on the file that we just exported from Figma. So this is our slide deck that we just uh, we just designed. And as you can see, all of the slides are there. The order is uh, the same as we expected. Um, and all of these elements are real uh, elements that we can click on and move around. Um, they all change. The background uh, property has already been set to white, but we can change that if we wanted to. Um, and that'll show through with all of the, the other layers that we've got. Um, and as I mentioned before, uh, with, the, with the speaker notes, if you go to view and then click on show presenter notes, you can see here it's just revealed the, present, the presenter notes or speaker notes that we added in Figma and those have been carried across to our keynote presentation. So whenever I change a slide, uh, you can see down here that those are being pulled in and I can edit those of course, or change them uh, now that we're in uh, keynote. So, so that's what it looks like. Um, 
If you do need to apply animations, as I said, they don't get carried across from Figma uh, into Keynote. They only get carried across into the Pitch Deck uh, web URL format um, in the other tutorial. But if you do want to add animations to these uh, slides now that you've got them in Keynote, you can totally do that as well. And the way you can do that is by going to Animate, just in the top right here, clicking on a layer that you want to apply an animation to, clicking on Add an Effect, and then you'll get this drop down here uh, where you can add different effects. And so if I do a blur effect, that's gonna blur that in for me. Uh, I can choose this this other one. So that's, that's quite a uh, crazy animation, but you can totally do that as well. And you can keep changing those, of course. I don't know what that one does. Oh yeah, it's a lens flare. Um, so yeah, you can play around with these, of course, but um, but yeah, the neat thing is that all of your assets from Figma have now been migrated into Keynote and you can play around with these, you can move them, uh, you can scale them, uh, of course, and pretty much do whatever you want. Um, and of course, you can, you can present that as well by clicking on the play icon and, and doing it that way. Um, but yeah, that's, that's essentially it. It's, it's really simple. It's really quick to do this. Um, and I think the cool thing as well is if you're designing these presentations collaboratively in Figma, uh, you get all the benefits of being able to design, uh, collaborative presentations in a tool that you really like without having to, uh, just jump straight into Keynote in a sort of isolated way. You can keep Figma as your source of truth for your slide deck designs. And whenever you do need to get it into Apple Keynote for some reason uh, from Figma, you can simply rerun the Pitch Deck plugin as many times as you want and uh, keep keep Figma as a source of truth and just keep re-exporting to, to Keynote whenever you need to. Um, and you can relaunch it really quickly by just going over to the right-hand side and you'll see the little pancake icon with Pitch Deck next to it. If you click on that, that will relaunch the plugin straight away so that way you don't have to go to right click and plugins and, and find it in there. You can just do it with one click uh, on the right hand side there. Uh, so yeah, I hope that's been helpful uh, for anybody who's been wondering if they can get their slide deck designs out of Figma into Apple Keynote. Um, the answer is you can, but uh, at the moment, the only way you can do it is by using the pitch deck plugin uh, that we just uh, went through. So I hope that helps you or your team with anything you're working on or, or uh, yeah, just trying to solve the Figma to Keynote problem that you've been having. Uh, this, is, this is definitely the way to go about it. So uh, yeah, thank you again for watching as always and uh, I'll be back very soon with more tutorials just like this one.